All right, here we go. We're going to January 2012, problems two through four. I apologize. I got through uh, this problem and realized I hadn't even started the recording. So uh, this is a simple just surface area formula. Uh, remember this this formula, remember, is on your formula sheet. It's two length width, two length, length heights, times two height width. You just plug everything in and you get 147.75. Sorry about that. No big deal. Uh, 32, let's see, there's 25 flowers, uh, 11 white, 5 red, 3 blue, and the rest are yellow, that's 19, that makes 6 yellow. Empirical probability just means the experimental probability, don't get crazy about the uh, don't get crazy about the uh, um, big words. It's not a big deal. Uh, the experimental probability that it will be yellow is 6 out of 25. Box in your answers for me, please. It's best in simplest form. Okay, we just got a factor. The, the number is easy. X plus 1, X minus 1. Actually, the denominator is just as easy. Because it's a positive 2, I know the signs are the same, and they're both going to be positive, they have to add up to 2. 1 and 2, big deal. Goodbye, goodbye, x minus, x minus 1 over x plus 2. Alright, I can solve this um, two ways. We'll do it the normal way. So we'll do 2x minus 8 greater than or equal to 2.5, if you distribute 1 half times 5, minus uh, 1.5x. If I add 1.5, I get 3.5x. If I add 8, I get 10.5. Divide by 3.5, I get x is greater than or equal to 3. If you do it the way I like to do it, and that would be to multiply it by the denominator, the common denominator, which is 2, multiply both sides by 2. On the right side, I would get 4, parenthesis, x minus 4, greater than or equal to. On this side, the halves would cancel and end up with 5 minus 3x. So this gives me 4x minus 16, greater than or equal to 5 minus 3x. Add, five, add the 3, I get 7x. Add the 16, I get greater than or equal to 21, or x greater than or equal to 3. Same exact work, same exact answer. Right. Y equals 4x plus, oops, minus 1. Uh, and uh, if I bring the 2x over, I get y equals negative 2x plus 5. So, um, on this one, the y-intercept is negative 1. The slope is 4 over 1. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So y equals four x minus one. Um, the other one has a y intercept of positive five. One, two. And down two to the right one. That is my answer. I'm not gonna. I don't really need to finish this. You guys get the point. Now the answer is one comma three. Please check your answers. Three in for y. Does that equal four times one minus one? Of course, three equals three. Plug it in here. Does three equal negative two times one plus five? That's negative. That's positive three. It works. Moving on. Oh, the classic turtle in the hair question. They had to call it a rabbit because nobody knows the, what a hair means anymore. But let's talk about the turtle. The turtle runs or walks turtle uh, at 20 feet per minute. So if I take the 100 feet and I divide it by 20 feet per minute, I get it takes him five minutes to complete the race. I do the hair, or the 
rabbit. It's going to do the first 50 in 40 feet per second, and if I divide those, I will get 1.25 minutes. Minutes. Then he takes a three-minute rest, and then he does the same exact thing again for another 1.25 minutes for a total of 5.5 minutes. So turtle wins race by half a minute or 30 seconds. All right, so here we're talking about odd again. So don't forget, odd is, we're going to start with x equal first consecutive odd integer. If it doesn't say odd or even, it's plus 1 and then plus 2 plus 3. If it says odd or even, it's always going to be x and x plus 4. x plus 2, x plus 4. Second consecutive odd integer. Third consecutive. Then it says the sum of the 3, so if I add up the 3, I get 3x plus 6, is equal to, don't forget with less since we skip them, 5 times the middle, but 18 less than that. So 3x plus 6 equals 5x plus 10 minus 18. Or 3x plus 6 equals 5x minus 8. Bring the 2 over, 3 over, I get 2x. Bring the 8 over, I get 14, so I get x equal to 7. But it did say find 3, or it says find the 3 integers. All right, so the first one is 7, the second one is 9, and the third one is 11. Those are your 3 answers. Don't forget... Another Venn diagram. Okay, I want to draw a tree diagram or a list of sample space. Tree diagrams are so much easier in sample spaces. Let's start here. Math, it just makes me so hungry. I might make a white bread or rye bread. From the white bread, I can use either ham, turkey, or beef. Ham, turkey, or beef, and from there I can go with American or Swiss, 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 American or Swiss. Or Swiss. There's your tree diagram. Um, the first question says, which will? How many sandwiches will not include turkey? No turkey, 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 no turkey. So that's four, and four is eight. And the last one says, determine the number of sandwiches that will include rye bread and Swiss. So we're looking for rye. Wait. The number of sandwiches will include rye and Swiss. So there's Ryan Swiss, there's Ryan Swiss, and there's Ryan Swiss. So that's three. Right. Let's see if we can do this one correctly. Sorry, just a little calculations. Okay, so the, the original price of the bike was two hundred and fifty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. We have, to that we have to pay tax of point zero seven. So if I take two fifty-nine and I multiply by two fifty-nine point nine nine and multiply by point zero seven, I get a tax of eighteen dollars and actually twenty cents. So my total. No sale price is the two fifty nine ninety nine plus the eighteen dollars and twenty cents, which turns out to be 
$278.19. That's the no sale price. On the sale price, the first thing we have to do is lose 30%. So let's drop 30%. So 259.99 times 0.3 equals $77 and, oops, $78. It's actually 77.997, but that rounds up that, which rounds up that, which rounds up that. So $78. So sale price equals 259.99 minus 78. Or 180, 259.99 minus 78 dollars, 181.99. Well, we have to pay tax on that, so 181.99 times 0 0.07 equals 12 dollars and 74 cents. So we're going to take the 181.99 and we're going to add in the $12.74. And I get 194.73. 194.73. So this is the total sale price. So I want to know how much I save. I take the 278.19. I subtract off the 194.73. And I figure that I save $83.46. And there she is. That's it. Hopefully you did okay.